Hey friends, welcome to a market prep vlog. Um, I am getting ready to go to my birthday dinner. Today's my birthday. But I thought I'd show you what I had finished this week to get it kicked off. And I'm going to be filming tonight when I get back and then um, probably most of the day tomorrow. Maybe even Monday. We'll see. We'll see how much we get done tomorrow. But this is a newborn size hat that I made. This will be the first time I'm going to be including some wearables in my booth. Oh, and today marks five weeks until my next market, which is the first one to kick off like the fall um, winter season. So I've got this one. This is made in Burnett Velvet and this pattern is by Cameron's Q Creations. Um, also, I'm going to be ordering some like white puff balls to go on top. I had already made this one. This is the same pattern, but this is baby zero to three. No, sorry. This one's zero to three months. This one is three to 12 months. So a little bit bigger. And then I've already started on a second newborn size in the pink. So I'm be wrapping that up. Hopefully I'm going to be working on that while we drive down to the restaurant because it's so far away. And then I got some smaller yarn than I normally get because I've got some other hat patterns to work on for my booth. Um, I just don't have the right size hook, so I'm going to have to get that probably tomorrow. So there may be more hat making. Um, and I'm also planning to go over, like, make a list of my goal inventory goals for the next market. So stay tuned for that. Probably do that tomorrow. Um, just laying out all the items that I want to make and how many. And then I can fill them in as I go. So hoping that will be a good motivator. So let's get going and let's market prep. Okay, I am back. It's still Saturday, but it is 9, 10 at night, so it's a little bit late. Um, I had a good birthday dinner. We went to the Cheesecake Factory. It's only my third time ever going there because it's a little bit expensive for what our <laughs> budget is, but, you know, it's a special occasion, so... Um, and the reason I picked that place is because my husband and I went on our first date there, um, you know, several, several years ago. But the cheesecake is great. But that's the third time I've had a meal there, I should say. Every now and then when we're near there, we'll go in and pick up just a slice of cheesecake to go. We like the vanilla bean. If you ever find yourself there, very good. It sounds boring, but it's not. It's really good. But, yes, we had fun. On the way to the um, restaurant, I was able to work a little bit more on my hat, newborn size hat. And so I think I am only seven rows from finishing this baby up. So I'm thinking I'm going to try to finish that and then I will show you what it looks like when it's all sewn together and cinched up at the top. So I'm going to work on that and I'll show you when it's done. Okay, I did it. I finished all my rows. And then I slip stitched it all together. Now I got a tube. And now I'm going to use the string to cinch up the top. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm trying to decide what I should make now because it's like 9.35 or so. So I feel like I can make something small pretty quickly. The only thing that's hard is like you have to be really careful with this velvet yarn. Because... It breaks fairly easily, so when I'm cinching, I'm trying to do it as I go, so that I don't break my yarn. So you're going to want to stay tuned, because I'm going to do a lot more tomorrow on Sunday. Um, I've already made kind of a list of inventory that I would want to have made in an ideal scenario. Like I said earlier, I'm five weeks away from my first market but then the next market after that is only I want to say it's two weeks after so I'm not gonna have a ton of turnaround time um, in between the next two so I'm hoping to have a good bit made so tomorrow 
I've only got it in like a really basic kind of list on a sticky note. So tomorrow I think I'm going to make a bit of a chart. I don't know if chart's the right word. But I'm going to write it out. And then for each quantity, I'm going to do a little square. So that way as I make them, I can fill them in. I think that's going to be kind of a mental, you know, dopamine reward system to keep myself on track because if you've watched my other videos you will know my attention span is not the best so I really need to lay out exactly what I need to be focused on and then you know I probably won't get all the boxes filled in before the market but at least I'm not off doing <laughs> random stuff jumping from uh, pattern to pattern so that is the plan so I'm gonna be doing compiling that tomorrow so you can see my inventory list so stay tuned for that let's see I'm trying to get this I really don't mind making these hats I feel like of course it's not as much fun as like making a plushie but it's a lot more you don't have to think about it as much especially with this pattern this is the only hat pattern I've used so far, um, but you're basically just making a rectangle. So you don't have to count because once you've got the bottom of the rectangle, you just go to the end of the row, turn around and come back. So it's kind of, you know, you don't have to use your brain. You don't have to count. So that is a plus. It Obviously, it takes a little bit longer than, say, like a lot of my plushies, but... I'm going to try to see, because I know that Cameron from Cameron's C Cute Creations has a lot of YouTube videos. I'm going to try and see what she charges for them. Maybe she's given that information in one of her market videos or talking about the hat. So, because I just don't know. I just don't know. Because I've only sold plushies so far. So, I'm just not entirely sure like, what people would be willing to pay for a handmade hat okay so I've gone looks like I've gone all the way around it's not there's still a little hole and this happened on my last one that I did there's still a, like a just a really small hole. it's not a big hole. so I think I'm gonna weave the yarn in and out this is the one I made earlier in the week so I'm just gonna weave Kind of in and out to sew up that last little gap at the top. The thing that's hard is hiding the ends. <laughs> but I guess it just is what it is. Do my best. Hope for the best. Alright, let's see. What should I make? I'm thinking about maybe I will make a candy corn. Um, I think I've shown the bigger one that I made, but I found... A pattern that is a lot smaller um, so that would be good because that would be good for the market and it's also good for the video I have coming up so that is one thing that I'm gonna be a little bit off um, not focusing on the inventory is when I'm making the Halloween patterns that I'm testing out for my upcoming fall Halloween pattern round of video there will be some of that but I'm trying to focus on small things so hopefully it won't take up too much time. I've already got candy corn, a large candy corn, a spider, all these ghosts. Is that it? That might be it. I found one like it's like a tiny little Frankenstein so I'm planning on trying that. I just kind of make sure I have a green because his skin is green. Uh, so I'm gonna try that and then what else am I gonna do? I'd like to try a pumpkin. I've got one written down, but I haven't started it yet. I've got like a, a, I took note of one I saw online, but I haven't done it yet. All right. So I'm going to weave in these ends. I'll show you the finished product. And then I think I'm going to try to make a small candy corn before bed or at least start it. And yeah. And then we'll have, we'll be back bright and early in the morning. All right. I finished. Which one did I, oh, I'm holding both of them. Which one did I just... I think it was this one. 
And it said, this is a newborn size. Why do I feel like this is slightly different? Size wise. Uh, it's, it looks taller. I guess it's pretty similar. I'm sure it has to do with like how tight the tension I'm holding it at. Anyway, here they are. So I'm realizing I'm probably gonna have to make tags. I always do tags of the prices, but I'm probably gonna print out, um, or have, not print, but have my Cricut cut out some tags with cardstock for the, especially for the wearables so that I can label the sizes easier. I don't wanna, I might have to put like a sticky note with the piles of each size because now I've got two newborns and this one was a, a baby zero to three months. So it just looks so tall. Is that right? I mean, clearly it's not. It's definitely <laughs> too big for my head. I think that's what it was. I didn't make toddler, did I? I will measure out the circumference. I'm almost certain I made the baby zero to three, so we'll see. I'm wondering if I should put one palm or two palms. I don't know. I'll decide that later. But anyway, I've got three hats now. That's actually pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with myself. Obviously the newborns don't take as long to make because they are smaller. But yes, I'm gonna pull up my candy corn, the small candy corn, here we go. So this one is a, on a blog, Okie Girl Bling in Things. I will try to remember to put that in the description. If I don't remember in this video, it will definitely be in the Halloween video. Okay, let's see. I think this one's gonna take a lot, be a lot quicker than the other one. Two rounds, three rounds, six rounds, nine rounds, 11, 12, 14 rounds. That doesn't sound too bad. So I'll at least get started. It's almost 10 o'clock. I'm trying to stay going to bed at a reasonable time so that I can get up early and exercise. But yeah, let's get started on this and I'll show you my progress. Okay, let me show you what I got done so far with my candy corn. Here's what it looks like so far. It's really cute. I haven't attached the safety eyes yet. In the back, they're just kind of sitting there so they might fall out. But, yeah, it's coming together pretty quickly. I should have paid more attention to when I started. But it's 10.23. Gosh, I think it might even be good to make one that's even smaller. Where's my ghost? Well, actually, it's pretty close to the ghost. Um, I'll see how this turns out once it's stuffed. And then I'll think about possibly just altering this pattern a little bit to make it a little bit smaller for my market. But it's looking really cute right now. The first bigger one that I did, I didn't put a face on. So I think I'll probably put a face on this one. And yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the hay. And then I'll be back hopefully bright and early in the morning and I know I'm gonna do my inventory list try to get um, as much done as I can I think I'm gonna have to make a run to Michael's tomorrow because um, if I'm gonna make some hats with the smaller yarn I need to get some different hooks I don't know why but when I first started I well I know why I got the pack I bought a pack right, of these just basic metal ones. And for some reason, they don't have the full numbers. Um, so, like, this is this is 6.5, but there's a bunch of, like, 3.75, 4.25, but not the, the regular just 4 or 6. And that's what I need. I need a 4 and a 6 for these hats. And so I haven't really worried about it with the plushies because it doesn't, really matter if it's slightly different um mostly I use a 6.5 and you know if it a quarter of an inch no not inch quarter of a millimeter different then it's not gonna make that big of a difference in a plushie but when you're making ow I dropped on my ankle <laughs> when you're making a hat it has to fit your head so I want to get the right size so I'm gonna order 
at Michael's tonight on the app just because they have a coupon that's expiring today for 25% off. So I'm gonna do a Michael's pickup. I might even try to get some of my birthday freebies. So that would be fun to do. Stay tuned for that. I'll be back in a jiffy. All right, good morning. It's Sunday. I, uh, let's see, it's 10 20. I just got back from the gym and it's time to eat some breakfast. I have to finalize my grocery pickup order for the week, take a shower. So I've got a couple things to do, but then we're going to get into the crafting and my Michael's order is ready. It's not too exciting. It's just, um, two crochet hooks, but we'll pick that up and get some stuff done. Okay, I'm back. I took a little time to eat lunch, get showered. Lunch, I guess it's more like breakfast, lunch in between. And then I made a list. I had talked about this before. I made my inventory planning goal. So I'll show you that in just a second. And then I made this ghost. Does it match? I think it matches. I did it by memory, so. Oh, it's a little bigger. Whoops. <laughs> only made it a little bit too big but that's okay close enough because I went by memory so clearly I didn't remember it exactly but that's okay it's it's close enough it's not crazy big I was wondering if it was the same but I'm just sewing up the bottom and I'll have that finished and then I will have met my ghost goal for my market so very excited to do that and then I'll show you how I made my inventory planning list not that it's anything <laughs> crazy uh fancy it's just something that helps me because like i said yesterday i don't have the best attention span not to like sit down and make things i could do that forever it's more jumping from thing to thing like pattern to pattern to keep i don't know if anyone else is like this but i just need like that constant dopamine hit when I'm trying to get things done so being able to check off these boxes or fill in the boxes I think is really going to help me um, stay on track with what I have planned for my market so I'll need to grab some scissors to cut this off but I've got ghost number six here well I should say it's six of these smaller ones and then it's seven if you count the big burnett blanket one and I guess it's technically eight if you count the tiny one. But what I'm going to do with this one, I think I'm going to turn this into a car hanger, you know, that would hang on the... Rear view mirror. Yes, it took me an embarrassingly long amount of time to think of that word. So I think I'm going to add a little swing to this little fella. And do that because I have some black yarn in the same size. Okay. So let me show you my list, and then I'm gonna take you guys on the road. We're gonna go to Michael's. So we actually are gonna get out and go in. I was thinking I'm just gonna do a pickup because um, I have a pickup ready, but I just wanna look. I have my birthday money, so. Yes, I'm 31, but yes, I get a little bit of birthday money from my family, so that's fun. I'm gonna use it for craft supplies. Anywho, here is my chart. So let me see. What I did is I wrote out everything that I want to make and then I put a box for each quantity that I want to do. And then as I go, I will fill in the boxes. So I love doing that even here at home or at work for normal activities, to-dos. I like to make a to-do list and then fill in the box as I go. Helps my brain stay on track. So... I titled it Inventory Planning Goals, and then I made two columns because I am introducing um, sewing projects into my inventory this time. So I've got crochet and sewing projects. So I'll go through the crochet. I've got octos. I want to have 20 of those. I've already, I think I'm very close to that. I counted the other day, and I'm very close to that. So I will. Later on in the video, I'll do a better inventory count and I'll mark off what I've made. Um, mini Mabel's is 15. I have a lot of bodies made. I don't have them finished out, so I'm not going to mark those off until the details are done because those do have a lot of details. Um, and then six goes. So later when I go through, I'm going to be able to mark all that off. 
five possums. I've got two possums made. One of them technically bigger, but I'm going to count that. Um, chicks. So I'm going to make these little, just a little baby chick. I have made those before, but I only had like one each time and they all, and they sold. So I think those could be popular. The tiny T-Rex. I don't know why I'm holding it back here and you can't even see it. Tiny T-Rex. I'm going to make five of those. I mean, this is all best case scenario so I have no thoughts in my mind that all of this is going to get accomplished like I know that's not going to happen this is just a goal in the in an ideal world this would be the amount that I make so I know it's not going to I'm not going to get there I feel more confident about the crochet side than I do the sewing side just because I I know a little bit better how long the crochet stuff takes okay so five tiny t-rex um three car hangers and that's not any particular one. I'm going to make the ghost into one. And then I have one that I saw on Instagram. I'll have to find it. I saved it. It's a po saved post. And it is a set of cherries. I thought that was really cute. So I have plans to make. Maybe that'll be the other two. Okay. And then hats. So I showed you last night. I have three hats made so far. And I've got a bunch. Let me show you. A bunch of like worsted weight yarn. I don't normally buy this yarn, so I had to buy some of that. Usually, I'm getting like you know plush yarn, but I'm gonna be making more hats. I've got that broken down into size: newborn, baby, toddler slash child, and adult. Focusing more on the smaller sizes, and then not as many adult. Um, and then I have some at the bottom that are kind of a question mark. I haven't drawn any boxes with that because I I just not totally sure want to commit to that yet which is cows and tiny candy corns and I showed you guys this candy corn last night I'm not quite done with it I will be wrapping that up by the end of this video so it's not just hanging around okay so that is what I want to accomplish on the crochet side Okay, so for my sewing side, um, I have magic wands. I showed that in the previous video. I'm making these felt magic wands. They're super fun. I, I made one for my daughter first. She loves that thing and she carries it around still even though it's been several weeks. Um, so I want to make eight of those. They really, they do take a little bit of time, but I've already got several cut out. I just need to finish sewing them up. Um, pouches, so I've got a couple pouch patterns that I purchased and it's both quilted pouches and then I've got one, I haven't tried this one yet, but you basically, it's like the outside is vinyl and you put glitter in between the vinyl and the fabric. So I actually bought, this is a huge tube, like I don't know. It's, I don't know if I can get the whole... No, I can't get the whole thing. But you can tell it's like several feet long. I've got vinyl to use for that. So those I'm actually excited about because I think those are super cute. Um, let me show you because I actually did finish one of the quilted ones. Let me show you what that one looked like. So here's one that I made of the quilted pouches. Just a little small size um i would have sold this one but it was the first one and I'm, there's just a few little places where i'm not happy with the craftsmanship i'm not just gonna fall apart or anything but i couldn't get this corner here to turn out and so i'm wondering if i caught it at the last minute with some sewing or i'm just having trouble with that and then just some places where the tension not the tension, but the number of stitches that I had, like the size of the stitches was too small. And it just, I'm just not super happy with it, but I'm happy with it to use for myself, but I'm not happy to sell it. So, um, it's fully lined. It's kind of hard to tell, but I got this cute little flower checkerboard. It's, you can't really, it's not focusing, but I like that. I've got a lot of cute fabrics that I can make pouches out of, so... I would like to make some of those. I'm going to focus more on the glitter ones because I think those are more fun and will catch the eye a little bit better um, because they're more unique. The quilted ones also take a little... Well, I don't know. I haven't made the glitter ones, but I think the quilted ones would take longer because you have to actually quilt 
as you saw there was you know a crisscross you have to actually do the quilting so it takes a little while okay hair bows so these are like sewn hair bows um I want to have hair bows on a clip in various sizes, 15 of those, and then 10, I think that's 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah, 10 on a, like a baby, the stretchy nylon headband, and I'm going to be ordering some of those off Amazon, I've already found them, um, and then 10, yeah, 10, felt hair clips so what I mean by that is I have the alligator clips and then you kind of cut out basically two pieces of felt to go over top and you put something cute on it like maybe you put some buttons or a little flower or a heart so I want to make 10 of those I wrote down bibs like a baby bib but I haven't made that yet I did find a pattern that was free but it's not something I've made yet, so I didn't put any quantity next to it. It's just something to keep in the back of my head. Maybe. But probably not going to happen this time. Uh, oh, so the last thing is heating pads. So this is something that my grandma used to make when I was little. And I loved, 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 loved. So this, you use flannel and you put rice in it. And then you can heat it up in the microwave. And it basically stays warm for a while. So I've got some really cute flannel. Let me show you that. Okay, so I've got four different kinds of flannel. So I've got two that are just kind of cutesy and fun. I've got this flower one. I've already started one of these to make a large size one. Oh, and I broke these down into sizes as well. Four of each size, large, small, and then like a neck one, so like kind of a thinner tube that might go around your neck. Um, the large one is, I would say, primarily like for your back. And then obviously the neck one would be for your neck. And then a small one you can use anywhere. I would use it for my period. They're really good for that. But they're super simple to make because it's all enclosed. You don't have to line it with anything. I even bought a funnel to put the rice in, so yes. So I've got flowers. I got this fun checkerboard, which I thought was cool. Kind of makes me think of like Gen Z, which I'm not, but <laughs> checkerboards are fun. And I also thought this could be suitable for male or female customers. And then, same with this one. So I thought this one felt really, they all are the same fabric, but I thought it looked really cozy, like for fall. Don't you think? So I like that. And then I got this daisy one. It almost looks like a denim because of the color. And then it's got these cute little daisies drawn on. Uh, my Joann's, the Joann's that is close to my workplace that I sometimes go at lunch has lots of flannel like a ton so if you're looking in the market for flannel joann's is where it's at and it's really interesting to see how different locations have different things because the one closest to my house has like almost no yarn but then they have a ton of fabric and then the one that's closer to work still has a good bit of fabric but they have a ton of yarn that's where i buy all my burnet blanket so anyway um, I'm gonna go to Michael's. I'm gonna take my kids. We also have to pick up our grocery order um, But that's just a pickup. So that's good um, And then yeah, we're gonna go to Michael's I'm gonna I think I'm gonna get some cardstock. That is the size you can put in a printer Because I want to especially with these um, Heating pads I want to include a set of instructions and then I also want to cut out some tags. I was mentioning that last night. I want to cut out some tags that are a little bit bigger than the little... I have the little craft paper ones that are perfect for writing a price on. Um, and I use those on all my plushies. They work great. But for these like hats where they have different sizes, I'm going to print slightly bigger ones. And then I also want to print out some thank you cards. So I'm going to get some cardstock for that. Um, and probably the process of me creating those items will go into another video. Uh, it might not be, it won't be today, but 
I'm compiling another video of efforts that I'm going to make to kind of just make my booth look more professional and more inviting. So we are exactly, yesterday we are exactly five weeks from my market. So I think over the next week I'm going to start that and really start thinking about ways to make it look better and improve the customer experience. So that is what I have to say at the moment. I'm going to head out and I'll try to bring you along. So stick with us. Okay, we got done at Michael's. And we'll show you our haul, what we got. I got my, this is just two crochet hooks, the, my pickup order. And then we kind of <laughs> ravaged the clearance section, because that's what's in our budget at the moment. So we got these biggie perler beads, because um, we had some trouble with the little ones, you know, being able to hold them with our little fingers, one of us. Me. Yes, <laughs> it was frustrating having to be able to control them. Okay, I got what I went for, which was some cardstock. I got this is soda pop colors, and I got it in two different thicknesses. They had buy one, get one 50%. All right, and then with the rest of it's just clearance stuff, kind of random. I got this week thing to write our chores down on, and it was a dollar. And. Little D, oh no, this one's itty bitty. Got some miraculous stickers, ladybug. Hey, All right, and then little D got this cute little rainbow notepad for two dollars. And I got this cricket knife for seven dollars. And then we got this for our gar outside garden. It's a fairy house, I think. After our clearance, it was $4.50. Very cute. And Dummy. these Dummy. are gummy erasers, and they're shaped like crystals. These were $2. Okay, so that's our Michael's haul. We're going to ice cream. Yeah. We, we are going to get some ice cream because I have a free birthday scoop at Culver's. Yeah. But I think we might have a target order to pick up first. And we need to get our groceries. So I'm trying to decide if I want to get groceries first. Well, but then I'd have to backtrack to Culver's. Hmm. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, we got our ice cream from Culver's. We're just waiting on our groceries. I got chocolate with Reese's. And then vanilla with hot fudge. And vanilla with chocolate syrup is what the girls got. Yum. Okay, we made it home. Um, but it is like five o'clock. So I'm gonna take a break to make dinner. I'm making like a knockoff recipe of the Taco Bell queso I don't know. So I don't pin this is the first time I'm trying it. So hopefully it'll go good. And then I will hop back on and we'll keep crafting. Tune in a circle. And Sam's tongue. Bubble blazing. Hey, hey, hey. All right. So I'm sorry I'm not in my craft room. And I'm in my bedroom. I have not been sleeping well this week, so I'm very tired and about to head to slumber, slumber town. But I wanted to show you this hat I'm working on. It's actually a baby bonnet. It's the first time I've made this pattern. And I don't normally work in, you know, a worst away and double crochets, but it's gone pretty fast. I'm pretty surprised. So I've still got. I think it's like four or five more rows on this front part to make the actual, you know, front lid. I don't know if it's the, I don't know if it's called a lid, but you know, the part that hangs over and makes it a bonnet rather than a regular hat. So I think I can finish that up tomorrow. And since I didn't get to finish my candy corn or go through the inventory, I am going to film some tomorrow. So stay tuned and we will be back Monday. I mean, for you, it would be like half a second. So I'll see you in a snap. Hey y'all. Okay. It is Monday. So I'm going to take a little time to wrap up the video in this market prep vlog. So what I'm doing right now is finishing my candy corn and attach the eyes. I think I'm going to stitch a mouth. I've got some like black acrylic size yarn. 
worsted weight size. So I think I'm going to just stitch a little simple mouth on it. Um, oh, I do have one other thing to show. I did a hat. Like I did this whole hat between last night when I signed off and, you know, this morning and then on my lunch break and after work. So this is like a toddler size puff style hat. Um, I think this is like a lion brand. It's a mandala cake ombre. Clearly most of it was the darker blue. And then I need to order um, some balls for the top for all of my hats. So far I have four hats made. So I'm kind of happy with it. This is the first time I've made a hat in the round. And so you have to like slip stitch the back part together so the back looks a little bit not super wonky but just more wonky than I would like. And then the top looks a little square. I think that'll help a lot once I get the fuzz ball on there. But anyhow, this is what she looks like. I actually like the color gradient. I wish it was a little bit more gradient, but that's okay. Um, I can tell you who makes that or what that pattern is. It is by Sheepish Stitches, Juliana Beanie. So I'll probably make one or two more in that style in other colors but yep so it worked up fairly quickly I'm still not sure how to price the hats because I just don't know like what's reasonable given that they take a little bit more time than most of my plushies but I'll figure that out later all right so I'm gonna stitch this mouth on here and then stuff it finish it out and I'll let you know what it looks like Okay, I finished the candy cord. It's so cute with the face. Oh, I love it. If y'all know me or you've seen the videos, you know, the sewing on the details. Even though I'm good at sewing, like, in real life things together, I'm not always good at sewing on the details, like eyes. Um, but this is just a little V, so I'm very happy with it. It looks so cute. And I just filmed a little short form video with this candy corn. So I'm going to post that on YouTube shortly and Instagram. So look out for that. But it's so cute. I think I probably am going to make more of these because they work up pretty quickly. And I'm actually pretty happy with this size. I was thinking even making them smaller. Maybe I could. Maybe I can make a few in this size and a few. I could just adjust the pattern a little bit to make it a little bit smaller. But very happy with that so super cute I thought the last thing I would do before I sign off is yesterday I showed y'all the list that I made my inventory planning so I think I'm gonna try to go through and see what I've already got and I forgot to mention this yesterday but I've actually got a lot of inventory already made that is left over from my last market so I've got a whole plastic bin that is already made and ready to go so this does not include any of that. So like, for instance, if you saw my last video where I was talking about thing patterns that I always take to my markets and I mentioned the bees, the reason why there's not bees on here is because I already have several of those made. So let's get through, go through. So I made the boxes for each one so that each time I finish something, I can check off a box because your girl needs the dopamine hit, okay? That encourages me. So I've just got a purple highlighter I'm gonna go through okay the first thing is octos I actually need to look and see how many of those I've got I've got a lot okay so I counted all my octos my baby octos and com fully complete with eyes stuffed sewn together I have 12 I have four there the bodies are done but I haven't finished off the little bit so I'm not gonna mark those off yet so I am going to fill in 12 squares. Okay. So I've marked off 12 boxes. Okay. The next thing is mini Mabel's. Unfortunately, I have several buddies, but I haven't finished those off. So I'm going to save the for when I've got all the details on. I like to do those in batches. And so what I'll probably do is 
keep making the bodies as I go and then once I get to the 15 that I am planning for I will try to take just take one evening and knock all the eyes and beaks and little red comb off at once okay next category is ghosts all right and my goal for the ghost was six so let's count one two oh i need to cut this this is the one i made was it yesterday or saturday i don't know but two three four five and six yay <laughs> it actually does feel really nice to meet a goal that you've set for yourself even though it's a little simple thing all right six goes are complete and that does not count my larger ghost that I made out of Burnett Blanket. I will take that to the market as well. But that was just the six ghosts that I wanted to make all in the same yarn and color. I mean, yeah, color but same size is what I'm trying to say. Okay, the next thing is possums. So I've got two of those made. Okay, the next thing, chicks, I haven't made any of those yet. Tiny T-Rex. One so far. Just how I knew that I wanted to make more because this turned out so work out. Okay, car hangers. I haven't finished one yet, but I am planning on making this ghost into one. Okay, hats. So I haven't added the fur balls on top, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and mark these off just because that's such a small thing that needs to happen. So, newborn. I've got these two velvet beanies in newborn size. I think newborn is anywhere from zero to three months. Oh, and I showed y'all this bonnet that I was working on last night. Um, I haven't got any more done on it, but I think I'm going to try to finish that up before bed tonight. So hopefully tomorrow I can mark that off. But yeah, this is the... How that is going. This yarn, I can't remember if I said last night, but it feels like butter. That's what it's called. Alright. So, two newborns. Once that's done, I'll be able to mark off a third. Um, baby. This one, I think, is baby. I need to count the rows and go back and compare to the pattern before I do it. And the only reason I'm saying that is because it's like the same size as this one. Even a little bit bigger than this one that's meant to be for a toddler. Although this stretches a lot more. Okay, so I'm going to mark off one for toddler child for the blue one that I finished today. And then I'm going to leave, I'm going to, after I sign off, I'm going to count the rows on this and see if this was supposed to be, because I thought it was supposed to be baby but 3 to 12 months. And now I'm second guessing myself for some reason I don't know okay so that's it except I'm still not sure if I'm gonna make any cows or the candy corns I probably will make more like I said but I haven't set a goal for myself so we'll see about that oh and on the sewing side I have made finish a hair bow let me show you that oops caught some yarn all right so here's one large hair bow that I made. So this is fully complete. So I can mark one of those off. Do, do, do. There we go. And then a magic wand. I have one magic wand that's fully completed. The rest are in progress, or several are in progress. And then I have a heating pad, a rice heating pad that is also in progress. So, okay. So that is the progress for now. I don't know if how well that's showing up. But that's the progress for now. And then we're just going to keep at it. Like I said, Saturday, today's Monday. Saturday was the five-week point before the market. Um, 
as we get closer, probably like two weeks out, I'll start breaking it down by day as in like Monday I'm going to focus on baby chicks and Tuesday I'm going to focus on finishing a hat. Wednesday's going to be finishing all the Mabels with their details. So th I won't do that until it's closer to time and then I can break it down by day at that point. Right now, as long as I'm doing something that contributes to the list, then we're on the right track. Because I know not everything on this list is going to get finished. It's just to keep myself on track and we will get there when we get there. All right. So thank you for watching. Um, I feel like this is going to be pretty long when I put it all together. So if you did stick with me to the end, put a yarn emoji so that I know that somebody's watching. <laughs> I know people are watching, but I don't know if anyone's watching to the end. So if you are, thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do and like the video because it helps other people see my content. So I hope you have an awesome day. Happy crafting and bye-bye!